Hi guys, it's Belle here and I am back um, to do week 13 of the Marguerite Miller um, Collage Challenge. If you don't know what this is, it's a collage challenge that runs all year, um, created by Marguerite Miller. I will leave the links to her YouTube channel and also to her Etsy shop where you can get these prompts in different formats. I've gone for the digital ones that I can just print off easily and work with. So let's get started. Week 13, guys, here's my journal. It's actually not getting too chunky, which is amazing for me. So this is last week's week 12, which if you've watched that video, um, <laughs> will know was a struggle for me. Um, and now we're on to week 13 and I'm going to do this page. We're back to single page spreads for a while um, because it will work now. So week 13, a poem. So I found a poem I really, really like, A Fragile Bend of the Heart. I'll hold it here so that you could pause the camera and read it if you want to. It's by Shelley Blooms and I got it from the Wee Moon um, Diary that I love. I don't actually, because I have a bougie, I don't actually write in diaries, but I get these because it's got lots of interesting information and I use a lot of collage and imagery actually in my bougie from this. So that's where this is from. A bird. I've got a few different um, bird images here that I'm thinking of using and these are from Daphne's diary that I've got. A measurement. So I've got this interesting vintage piece, which, you know, there's measurements or maths on there. And then I've got an actual, um, like, old piece of tape. Stitching. So I've got a few pieces here. Um, this is a bed that I've got in my stash. Uh, when I was stitching it, I read out, ran out of the colour purple that I was using. So I ended up going, so it's got this weird mottled look, so... There's that. And I've also got this little key that was in my stash. Repeated rubber stamping. So I did this off camera. But I've got this really... Oh my God, I've had these like 20 years or more. It's Delta Suzanne Nicole. Uh, rumper, rubber Stampede. Anyway, it's this beautiful design. And I don't use these a lot, and I really wanted to get it out and play with it. So I just stamped the image several times, and then I have embossed with, first of all, antique gold, and then this sparkly pink embossing powder. And bonus part of a used envelope. This was actually sent to me a few years ago, so um, I wanted to use it. I've obviously covered up my address, even though I don't live there anymore, and the address of the person who sent it. It was actually sent from Italy, from um, a friend of mine who lives there. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. I've got some other bits and pieces as well that I might want to use. Um, yeah, I don't really know. Let's get started. I do know that I really want this poem on there, obviously. It's actually got this beautiful piece of artwork down here as well, which ironically also has birds on it um but i want this on here and i was thinking this on here with the bird but because of the shape of the page i don't want the bird kind of being off because you'd see it on the other side and it wouldn't really work so i'm thinking this is going to have to be ripped around but um i didn't know how i wanted to rip around it if that makes sense so I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm a bit behind. We've had a very busy end of March, start of April. Um, and uh, yeah, just got a bit behind on a few things. Um, but hopefully things may settle down a bit more. I want to keep that because I will use that. So I'm going to put that over there. I don't know if I want this torn apart at the top. I just thought this poem was beautiful. Um, especially with <clears throat> everything in the world at the moment. Because it's a 
you know. It says, let us meet there at a fragile bend of the heart, at a threshold of acceptance where compassion and tenderness utterly shift the world from confusion to clarity, from darkness to light, from them to us, from us to everyone. Let us meet there at a fragile bend of the heart what we are, where we are limited in all things but our capacity to love and the weakness that will save us utterly fragile love, utterly agile love, all our human vulnerabilities merge in there, invincible at a fragile bend of the heart. I just thought it it kind of went with, like I said, at the world at the moment. I don't know if I want the bird underneath. I was thinking I kind of wanted the bird on top, but now I'm looking at it like that. Maybe I want it underneath. So, obviously we need some background imagery. So I had this digital in my um, kit in my box it's a digital I've had for a while in my scrap box and I'm thinking I might use this as the part of the background I want blues and pinks and things like that on this so that's what I'm going for I know I'm ripping this the wrong way it should really be that you rip the other way but there we go <clears throat> make sure this is in the shot and yeah I kind of wanted this in the background so I'm going to rip this I like the colours it went with the bird and it went with something else that I really want to use and then I can trim it off of there hoping I'm in camera I've just realised I don't know where my book is my um glue book <clears throat> i don't know where that is so that's gonna go on there like that hold on guys i know exactly where it is now <laughs> i see it <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna put that on there just ink around it a little bit just using what i've got on my table I had to put all my craft stuff away because we had people over all weekend. We had family over um, to celebrate a birthday, my son's birthday. <clears throat> so, yeah, I put everything away. But amazingly, because I have decluttered so much and tidied and organised, a lot of my craft area it was really simple to find a place to put away I mean I don't keep a lot of my table anyway um, so it's not like my tables cluttered so it's really simple to put away all my stuff that normally sits on my craft table and my craft table kind of full folds down really neatly so yeah but then I had to get it all back out. Oh, it took me about five minutes, but still. Anyway, so that's going to be the background. Ooh. And then that's on there. Do I want it like this? I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I want... Do I want this? Like, do I want it like that? I don't know, something else I wanted to use. So I was going through again my bits and bobs and I found a card that I'd been gifted years and years ago. And um, it wasn't like an important birthday or anything. So it's not one of those things I really wanted to, needed to like keep or whatever. But I really liked this heart on it. So I'd kept it anyway to possibly use. And then when I saw the colour of this bird and um, this poem, it just kind of worked perfectly. And it means I get to keep part of this card without having to keep the whole thing. Um, so that's a good way to use up things that if you haven't got a lot of space, um, but want to keep something. Yeah, I want to use this heart. 
Mm. I know I probably need more behind it, that's the thing. Okay, let's have a look. Where's this heart going to go? I think I need to work out more about the bird first. And once I've worked out where the bird is going to go, then I can work out the heart. Right, or do I want it more over here? Right, the heart and then the bird. I suppose it could go like that a little bit. Um, need to use part of the envelope. So I was thinking about the stamp because it talks about being around the world and all that. And also I've got this key. I think I do want to use the key. Let's trim down the key for now. Um, what I'm probably going to need. Oh no, they should be fine. I was going to say what I need is my fabric scissors. But you know what? I don't think I do. So yeah, I think I want to use this key because it's got the blue. There's a lot of like pops of blue in this. I don't know if I want to keep the the edge or whether I just want to cut down the key. Yeah, so I'll do that. So we've got the key. I don't want on here. Mm. This is being a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I could put this in the background, I suppose. What side do I like? Um, um, and we still do have these that I kind of want to rip up and use in places. Let's, let's rip some of this and just use it somewhere. So this was an old piece of lined paper that I tea dyed, but I'd left it um, in the oven a bit too long. So it's just a scrap of paper. Um, that worked perfectly for me to use up in this way. So we do have this. It could go across there. That might be quite nice. Um, I do have this, which you've seen from... A different one it's got some blue in it which is why I was thinking that and I do have this piece again it's got some blue I quite like the stitching piece let's um, cut out the stitching piece and see how I feel about that so yeah I really don't have much of an idea of where this one is going I just really knew I wanted that poem that bird that heart and that key <laughs> Now I've got to try and make that work. So that's what I wanted. And again, I think this is from a Daphne's diary. I'm trying to use them up in my collage because I don't see the point in using them and covering them all up um, in certain ways because you're losing all the beautiful images. But obviously we're really limited in how we can use them. So... It does have stitching. Do I like it with the poem though? Where's my poem gone? <gasps> Where's my poem gone to? See, I think that's too cluttered now. I don't like that. That's too cluttered. I do have an old piece of doily that I used in another one. So that could go under there. Where's my bird? Birdie. See, I think that looks quite nice. Let's see. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. I'm going to really want to use this heart. It could go up. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that with the key. Right. I don't know, do we want this under here where you can just kind of see it popping out like that and the bird, maybe the heart could go down there and we could leave that. Bit. Okay, so something's forming, something's coming to my mind a little bit, so let's go with that. Oh, this is the piece, That's the piece I wanted it to go with. So yeah, and I've left the hole from the lined paper because I like that. So yeah, 
So we had a busy weekend. It's the first time I've actually had <clears throat> that many people in my house since, you know, obviously we made sure everyone was safe and all that kind of thing. But it was, it was really nice, but it was still a bit of a um, strange experience and feeling. Okay, this is such a lovely texture, but I don't think I um, embossed, although it is a really old embossing um, powder. Because I'm not sure it's all fully embossed in there, but it's just got a lovely shine. Look at that. It's just a lovely shine. Okay, then. Let's I'll do this. This has to go. It's always got to have the bird... Do you know what? I think now I want the bird on top rather than underneath. I think that's what I want to do. So it needs to go about there. So we need to get this down. I'm just sticking the middle down because I can stick the rest down once it's kind of on there. Like that. And then I don't want to use all of this. I want to keep some of it. So I'm just going to cut off this piece because it's going to go under like so let's just check again that the bird can fit on here I wanted it over a little bit see I think that's why I had the poem on top like that mm, do I like it this way better Yeah, I think I like it that way better. Bed on top. Move this over a smidge. Okay, let's get this glued down and then I can glue everything in place. <clears throat> so yeah, so I hope you're all okay wherever you are. April is here, but it has been extremely strange weather over here at the moment. I mean... We're having snow in a lot of the U places in the UK, but, oh, that's too far over because the key has to go there. But in our area, <laughs> using a different glue that's gonna help stick this a bit better. In our area, um, the snow has been more like, well, thick rain. <laughs> it hasn't settled, it doesn't even look like snow. Um, <laughs> That's what it's been like. But you can really feel the ice. I want that down a bit, I think. In the air. And it's just, it's just so weird at the moment. I don't want the bird underneath now. Yeah, I think the bird's going to go underneath. This really needs to stick down. And it's a struggle because of the embossing. So that's going to stick down. Ooh. All coming out. Let's just hold that a second. So yeah. Anyway. So it is at the moment. Strange weather. You get up in the morning. It's sunshiny. It's rainy. It's grey. You have all four seasons practically in one day. Um, but my son was just like, oh, I really hope it doesn't snow on my birthday. It did a few years ago. It snowed on his actual birthday <clears throat> in April, but no. He actually had a nice sunny day to celebrate, which was nice. Because he spent two birthdays, including a big birthday, an important one, um, in lockdown. <clears throat> So it was just really nice he didn't have to this year. Could do that there. Still got the key that I want to use. I want the heart possibly up there. And then maybe the key. Oh, we still haven't used the envelope, have we? Okay, so let's have a look. Do I want just part of the paper of the envelope? I think I want the stamp. The stamp's really cool. Look at that. So I think I want the stamp. 
let's get that off part of a used envelope obviously that's the bonus i believe and you don't have to do the bonus um so if you're if you haven't seen these before um with the prompts you get one two three four five prompts and then you get a bonus so that if you haven't got something for the other prompts you can use the bonus one. Oh, i don't want that over the bird's beak i might have to pull the bird's beak up again because i think that although then we're covering a lot of the measurement mm, okay That kind of works. I want it to still say Italy on it. So yeah, I like to try and do all the prompts, including the bonus one. I think so far there's only been one week where I haven't managed to include all six. Um, I think that was the week that it was something lavender. Um, so well, it's covering up Italia now. Okay, so sorry about that. My phone cut out. And now I'm going to do the heart there. Um, yeah. Good job my phone made a beepy noise. Otherwise, I would have carried on <laughs> thinking <laughs> that I was still filming when I wasn't. So, yeah. Good job that that's happened. Um, okay, I want the bird stuck. It's such a cute bird. I like that. So, let's have a look. We've still got to do this key somewhere. Like, do I want it down here? Do I, if I cut it a bit more, I've got to be careful because obviously you can't cut it. I've got no interfacing on the back of this piece, so I can't cut it too close to the stitching, otherwise it will unravel. So yeah, there we go, that sort of works better now because I could put it here quite like it there is it anywhere else over here i could put it could the bird be sitting on a key no i don't like it there got it in my head i want it here so that's where it's going which will be interesting because as i said i've got no interfacing on the back of this so i'm gonna just put some glue on Doop -doo -doo. Glue -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I like to when the weather gets a bit nicer or even like I've got a daylight bulb for my stitching as well. But I like to in between big stitching projects, um, cross stitch projects, I like to just have a little box with some tiny designs and things and some fabric and things like that so that I can just quickly stitch a few things um you know in like half an hour an hour i do some few little stitches and then i've got them for when i want to use them in projects so i think that's everything and i don't know if i want to use anything else i've got some more of this and we have got the pink one so i don't know if that would work somewhere like because we've got the pink that kind of picks up yeah, I could put it down here because it's still the embossed piece, but it's a different colour of embossing. And I actually quite like that. Like. Do I like that? I kind of like it over here. Over here. Oh, it might fit under the bird's tail. Let's do it there. Let's do that because I kind of want to put some of this pink embossing powder. It's such a pale pink embossing powder that it really doesn't work well. Um, 
for certain things. But it worked well on this because the lined paper was already tea stained. So it helped it pop a little bit. So that's down there. Do I want another smidge like up here or over here? I don't think so. Do you know, I know this is quite simple. Oh, I did have this though. Once you change the way you see the world, you can you can change the world you see. I did like that too. I did want to use that because I thought it worked worked quite well with the poem. Um, so there is that that I could do. I don't know. I think that's too much. Do you think that's too much, guys? I just think over here is a bit bare, and I don't really know. Like, let's have a look if I've got anything in my little pot. I I keep this little pot just full of bits here. I'm just having a look to see if there's anything in there that might go. That's quite nice. Doesn't need. Doesn't need it. Ooh. Okay. That's in black. Oh. No, 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 not the black. <laughs> Do you know what? I quite like that there. So we're going to put that on there too. You can add other things just in case if you haven't seen these before. You can add other bits and pieces as long as the focus is the five slash six main prompts i kind of like it there and over the bird stick like i said this is embossed so it's a little bit difficult to stick to right let's just trim that okay let's just pull that bit off that'll probably need gluing down a bit more so do you know what i think i think that's it i think that's all i want Mm, a piece of fabric now I'm just adding things for the sake of adding things I think I don't know I don't know I don't want to distract from the poem by adding too much else um, that needs to, this just isn't gluing today I don't know why just, <laughs> just feel like nothing wants to work today okay so here we go it's a close up. You can see all the embossing and the gold. And um, yeah, so let's have a look. <clears throat> Week 13, a poem, uh, a bird, a measurement. We've got to take measure in inches under there. Um, stitching, which can be real, drawn, or stamped. Mine's real. Repeated rubber stamping, it was part of a repeated pattern, I've ripped and torn it, and use of an envelope, which I have up there. So yeah guys, let me know what you think down below. Still wondering if it needs more, maybe a few splatters or a few gems, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we've got, that's week, week 12, do I keep saying week 12? It's not week 12 at all, it's week 13. Week 13. So, sorry if I've been saying week 12. It is week... <laughs> Maybe I'm just wanting to go backwards. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's just yes, going too fast. It's week 13, guys. Um, so, and I like the way there's a bit of brown of the actual paper underneath showing through there. Kind of picks up the colour there. Week 13. I will be back soon with week 14. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button. If you like what you've seen but haven't subscribed yet, then please hit that subscriber button so you can see more of this crafty chaos. Um, and until next time, I hope wherever you are in the world, guys, that you are safe and that you are having some crafty fun. Until then, bye.